guys um today i'm going to be doing like popular tiktok drawing or digital art hacks and they're not necessarily popular they're just the ones i found oh also uh i changed i was paint <laughs> to one of my drawings and then under it says draw i must draw because motivation yay uh the way i use this is with an app not sponsored by the way an app called Shortcut Maker for Samsung Galaxy Android. It's on the Google Play Store. It's for whatever. But I use it to make the shortcuts. So, some of this stuff involves like shading and stuff like that. So, I'm going to really quickly pick a subject and make a sketch. So, I don't get sued for like... Showing this stuff, I'm going to pause my screen recording and pick a random subject from Pinterest. Trust me, it's not going to be a girl, but it will most likely be a long-haired guy. TikTok just sh found a subject. Now I'm going to reverse image search so I can find his name because that, like, helps a lot. Like, if it ends up looking good and not, like, trash... I like to tag the person, so that's what I'm gonna do. Put my phone into desktop version. Upload an image. Choose a file. Gallery. Then I go to my freaking pins. This dude. That that, that that's not a girl. That that. that. That's not a girl, but that's not a girl. That's not a girl. I cannot find this person's name. So if this is your photo and you're somehow seeing this, thank you for being beautiful and being a good subject. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly make the sketch and so I don't bore you, I'm gonna make the sketch. See you guys after. Sketch is prepared. Mm, yeah, uh, oh my God, will TikTok just stop doing that? I know this whole video center centers around them, but I don't need random people's usernames, like, shown, and I delete, I usually swap the notification away, like, immediately, in order to, uh, you know, not be annoyed, so I can't really censor these guys' usernames. I am sorry. Oops. Little line, I forgot. Okay, uh. I probably need to connect these lines. <laughs> so, the first hack pertains to line art, which is exactly why I'm not doing my line art right now. Let me just pull it up, and you'll see it. Okay, so here's the first TikTok. I'm gonna show it in its entirety. Thank you to uh, uh, happy underscore coma for making this uh, line art hack. I will provide the links to all the TikToks in the description below, and I am claiming fair use. Since I know a lot of TikTokers are now integrating to YouTube, please don't sue me, I'm 14. Be about line art. Step one, make the sketch. If you haven't done it right the first time, draw over it. It helps. By the way, thank you, Nick, for allowing me to use these. These are beautiful. Thank you, girl. Keep in mind, the background is usually transparent or white, but I'm leaving it this color because I've got a headache. Now, there are two ways of doing this that I usually do. One is make all of the line art the same color, or two, do different layers for each one. Trust me, it'll be easier to color later. As far as my brush settings go, they change for each one, but I always make sure to have this. What the fuck is this? Wait to your pen. This will add way more details and look way more interesting than a solid piece. Stop that. 
Also, we're gonna be doing long strokes. Not this. Oh, I got to be perfect, must, must continue. Don't do this shit! Make long, smooth strokes. You know why? Because if you go too far, you can use this tool. It's called a fucking eraser! And eventually you'll have like this. Test this out, so let me know how it works. I'm gonna go die in a hole with this migraine. Are we today? Okay, the only thing I do not like about this hack. Oops. Is the fact that, um, all the line art will be on separate layers. I have tried doing this before, and, um, it just, I found it just, like, takes up too much on my memory, because on Ibis Paint, it really starts lagging if you have way too many layers. So, I guess I'll do it, like, sketch layer. Uh, I guess I'll start on the face with this layer. Oh, for sketching, I use the soft palette gun pen uh, bleed in like any color. And for uh, liner, I do the dip pen hard and black. I find all these tools are free to use on Ibis Paint. You don't have to pay for any of them, so that's nice. Oh, what was I gonna start on? Okay, the head. Why is that at a 1.8? I'm going to erase that little bit because it looked wonky. And there we go. I guess we could kind of do like the hairline? Or would that be considered part of the hair? I say that part of the hair. New layer. Eyes. I always like to do this, like, on a smaller, like, setting for my brush, because I have to do the pupil, too. And that can get really, like, close, like, to the point where I can add almost no color to the eye. So I like to use smaller, co er, smaller uh, pen. Here, eyes done. Step four. I'm just gonna end up merging all these layers down once I'm done. So I don't know what I, why I. Nose is done. Now we'll do the eyebrows. I'd like to use like a tiny little eraser for most of my art because uh, I can erase finer things away, you know. I'm just going to end up grouping the face together after I get done with this. Let's get that back down to a point. Like, there's all the face. Grouped together. Next, I'm going to do the shirt. So, shirt slash body. It's going to be grouped together, and then I'm, at the end of the drawing, we'll group all these layers together.
There we go. Shirt's almost done. It is done now. I'm going to make my new layer. Recording because it's dinner time. Even though I'm probably not going to eat. I am back. And, uh, can we just talk about traditional artists for a second? Like, seriously, how did y'all get so good at traditional art? Like, I can spend, like, three hours on a traditional piece and it'll look, still look like my dog pooped on it. And, like, what I mean is, like, my dog pooped on the paper and it was smeared to look like a drawing. Like, seriously, how did y'all get so good? Like, was it witchcraft? Did you sell your soul to the art devil? Like, I'm not talking about your one of the mill traditional artists either. I'm talking about artists like Super Ray Dizzle and all those people who were, like, really good at what they do. Like, seriously, how did y'all get so good? Like, cuz... I am about to be taking an art foundations class, and part of the supplies for the supply list was a sketch pad, and, uh, yeah, I'm more worried about my traditional art, because what happens if it's not good enough and I fail the class, like, that's what I'm more worried about. But yeah. Like seriously. How did y'all get so good at what you do? Like, if you sell your soul to the art devil, how much do you get? Just those skills or I know it's like practice and stuff, but where do you get the willpower to practice? Like, obviously I do digital art like almost every day, cause I don't know if it's the same for the traditional art, but with digital art, um, I know that if you do not practice every day, you will lose skill. Like your brain will just be like poof and it's gone. Like, seriously. And if you draw every day, you can also learn new skills, like I am doing now, which I may or may not use in the future, depending on, you know, depending on if they work out in Ibis Paint, because a lot of these TikTok artists use Procreate. <laughs> And, or the computer, stuff like that. Whereas I'm here just sitting on my phone, like. So hopefully these just work out for me. Otherwise, this was a waste of a video. Waste of memory in my phone. I think that's the hair done. Yes. Well, I can say that the only thing that really helped me with was, oh my god, did I just delete layers? Into merge its layers. The only thing that's really helped me with, like, was erasing, like, certain parts, you know? And I don't hide my sketch layer. I delete it. And if it looks bad after that, or I forget to draw over something, I press undo. Flip the canvas. Yeah, it still looks good from that angle. Here's the next TikTok, which I need to find because for some reason I decided to X out of TikTok. Next up is uh, How to Paint a Galaxy by uh, Cat Dog Fatness. 
interesting username. Because what I do is I do sketch line art background. So let's see how she does it. Well, they do it. Okay, so it's black, blue, purple, pink dots. Okay, I got it. I'm, I might actually integrate this with uh, how I do backgrounds normally. Air under that. Okay. Fill the entire page with black. Got that. Soft brush. Dip pen. Soft. Dark blue. This dark blue work? Okay, it has to be darker blue. Something like that, I guess. Purple on top. Like, dark purple? Like, this is probably not gonna look like a good galaxy, judging from how this is going. Pink. And what we're going to do next is integrate the way I do backgrounds, which means smudge. Smudge, 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 smudge. Blur. Smudge in Z shape. Add a layer on top. And since I need to add random white dots, what a perfect time to use my uh, dot brush. Okay. I'm, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to vary the size of these dots. So, like, there's going to be huge dots, and then there's going to be tiny dots that you can't see. Okay, I think one is, like, smallest you guys can see. And, okay, now we add sparkles, which we can do by smudge. Okay, not, not, not that much smudge. And then, there. Honestly, I like smudging these like stars better. I think it looks a little better, or at least for the big dots. Okay, there we go. Now an even tinier smudging this. Okay, for these tiny dots, I'm not going to even bother smudging them. I'm just going to blur them. So let me do the rest of this, and I'll meet you guys. So here's how that ended up looking, and then I can just set that layer to either add or luminosity. I'm going to set this layer to add. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my background, actually. That way I can... Start coloring because the next thing has to do with shading I believe hold on let me check yeah I checked the next one has to do with shading so I'm gonna show you how I color so bucket fill the outside of the drawing or any layer that you want the background to be showing I 
any light on any part. Where the hell is this purple? There is a random purple right here. Hold on, let me really quickly remove my selection, that invert selection area, because I need to see which freaking layer that this random purple is in. So I just ruined my liner, but I found the random purple. Okay, back to coloring. Um, yeah, bucket fill. Bucket fill. More random purple. Hopefully that gets. Oh wait, it's not gonna get covered up because I don't like I. You'll see. Go quickly, invert selection area. Color the whole darn thing in your dip pen soft skin tone. So I'm gonna really quickly look at the reference just to see his skin tone. Where are my pens? Cause there's my work. Seems to be pretty light, but maybe with like a bit of a Mexican skin tone, like, something like here. That's why I do selection area for everything. Now, where the heck is this random purple coming from? Like, seriously. There's no freaking purple on the drawing, so. Might be parts of the sketch, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna really quickly fix my line art for the quadrillionth time because I keep on finding more random, more random purple. Looks like the purple's all gone. Thank the stars. And time to select the next thing that needs colored in. Which is his shirt, which I'm actually gonna do in a very like dark gray instead of black. That way you can add like shading to it. And the shading hack won't apply here because like I'm just gonna do it my normal way. Which is in a freaking multiply layer with the same color because shading hack will not apply here. Because, like, the only contra. I I'm not gonna give it away. Looks like everything that needs to be colored in in the shirt is highlighted, so. Oh, I, I, I selected that with the dip pen, not the, not this one. So I'm going to make this very, like, dark gray, almost like brownish gray. Like this color. Next, I am going to do his, like, hair, because, yeah. Hair and eyebrows are usually grouped together because, well, 
and beards because they're like the same color normally unless you have someone who like dyed their hair blonde so looking at our model yet again because like his hair color is very interesting like it's brown but blonde so I'm gonna say like dirty blonde maybe possibly okay uh so that would be like brown like here next I'm going to do the black Oh wait, I forgot that I, I stopped doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to do his nostrils next. Which is... Stop doing that for reasons because... The way I started coloring nostrils, which is the way I do it now. Or not nostrils, but like pupils, is, I found is much easier. And that's the reason I start with the whites of the eyes instead of, like, the irises. That reason is because I like to fill everything in with the bucket tool to select it. Because, um, it's much easier. Yeah, the benefits of Ibis, Ibis Paint for all of you who think I'm poor. We have a selection layer. Y'all who do use Procreate don't. Okay, let's look at the map. I should have just kept my freaking gallery up the whole time. His eye color is like a very dark brown. So, the way I do eyes, we put the lightest color. First, so I'm going to use a very light brown to fill in his irises for right now. And now, there we go. Fill in his pupils last. And the reason I do this is because we can build upon layers that way. But I used to fill it in like pupil, iris, white of the eye. I would get like the other like iris color in there when I was selecting the iris I mean in the pupil because uh you see how my selection tool it is it just runs over lines that it deems less important. Also, lip color hack skin tone but like in red. Okay, I'm really gonna quickly select this patch of hair because, like, it was not colored in. And then this next tip, next hack applies to shading. So, turn that on right now. Okay, it's not that one, it's not It says, fun art hack is using contrasting colors to shade at grave.hand. So, the benefits of using what was it, Autodesk, or I can't remember if it was Autodesk or, um, can't remember if it was Autodesk or Infinite Painter, where, um, it would give you the contrasting color, like, right off the bat. Clip set to multiply. There is a reason I do this. And you'll see with the way I'm about to color in the arm of the shirt. Look at that. Of 
clipping layer is set to multiply. You know what that does. Select the color. Fill it in. Boom. Instant shading. But. That wasn't the point of today. The point of today was to test out TikTok digital art hacks. And since that includes the shading hack, which I might find useful, useful, might not. It depends. I have to use the shading hack instead of the way I do it. This is gonna be fun on a bun. If you wonder why I select everything before I color it in, it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I don't want to have to do a whole bunch of racing because I know I have a messy hand. Okay, especially when we go up there, you're going to need to shave down some of this on the side. Okay. And then to shade the shirt, which is my multiply layer, we need to find the contrasting color, which is usually over here. Yes. And the way I do this is, normally I use a watercolor, actually, because, like, yeah, it's just easier to handle. Um, next thing we are going to shade is the skin tone, which I don't know how this will turn out, because, obviously, like, He look like he's doing blackface, basically. Could Rep mate not, because you know he's a very tan skin tone. I like how the shading looks on the freaking uh, shirt. I'm not so sure I'll like it um, for the skin tone though. I'm not going to use this to add shadows, though, as I have my own way of adding shadows that is very unique to me. <laughs> I think I might not have come up with it. I, I'm not sure if I came up with it or not, but it's my brand. Seriously, this... Freaking using blue to... Shade? This is good for adding shadows, but not for shading. So what we're going to do is the same way we did his arm and that, or his shirt, which is just that color, but in a multiply layer. Final thing, we're shading. His hair. And since I want the light source to be coming from the outside, we are only going to shade, like, the inside of his hair. And what I mean by that is, uh, you'll see. That's what I mean. So let's take this color, take this color, let's see what its opposite is. Using blue to shade the hair might not look that bad. Yeah, it doesn't. It actually looks quite nice on this type of uh, on this hair color. Oh, I forgot to write the other hacks. Line art hack. I give that like an 8.5 like because it was a good hack, but the hassle of adding layer after layer after layer, not fun. Background hack coupled with my background hack. 
10 out of 10 because it's up for interpretation. You can use your own background hack if you have that with the how to paint a galaxy hack. <sighs> the shading hack. Really good for uh, clothing and stuff like that. Not so good for hair. So like a five. And I was just kidding when I said my way of adding shadows was unique to me. <laughs> so please take that with a grain of salt or I am going to get my ass sued at the age of 14. Not fun. Okay, I feel like that shadow should be more rounded, so I'm actually going to, okay, not that much. I'm just, I just want to blur this shadow, because like, well, it's a shadow, one, and two, I like to have it more rounded. Okay, it's done with the shadows, I don't think there was anything for the highlights. Next one's for like, the hair. And like, yeah. Color dodge. Wait, that's color brown. <laughs> okay. Selection layer. Okay. Okay. So, if it bores you to add the highlights, you know, because I'm not doing a hack currently, I will currently pause my recording. That way, you guys don't have to suffer through this, because I know there are some of you that find this stuff boring. Okay, highlights are done, and this is what we have so far, so I think the next hat, or I do my eyes before I do anything else, so... Let me really quickly show you how I do my eyes. You guys can use this. I mean, I am not copywriting it in any way. I don't think you can copyright an art hack. But, oh my god, why isn't this showing up? But basically, airbrush on the eyes. With the pupil. Okay, this I got from another art pack. This is not the part that is unique to me. But there is a very important and crucial part of my process that I think is unique to me. That honestly, if I saw, I, I don't think I ever saw it somewhere else. But I don't mind you using it. That is dot there, three dots follow. And these three dots have to be along the curve of the eye, by the way. I am not liking the way these dots are turning out. Because for this eye... Oh my god. Not that much bigger, but they have to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I just like doing that. Now, for the hair. Flipping mask. Back to finding a TikTok. So this one is how I draw hair by uh, one big B U U. Boo. I don't know. Pertains to like highlights, which is exactly what I'd normally do, but I'm going to couple it with my freaking selection tool hack. So I'm sorry if these aren't anime highlights, but I don't really watch anime. I know, shocker, digital artist that doesn't watch anime. What I do know is very popular in anime, though, is, like, the highlights at the very end of the 
hair. Or at least in some of the styles I've seen. Because I know there's a lot of artists who draw in the anime, manga, whatever style. So... You weren't supposed to be in here. Like, I know this is extremely pop popular in the anime styles I've seen. At least, it, it might be the anime artists. I don't know. But, like... This is just a normal layer anyways, so... You're not inconveniencing me by doing this. Okay. Lighter color. I don't think that turned out that good, so like 5.5. It may work for you guys if you do anime, but it definitely does not work for me. Okay, now we got the full dog gun. thing going on here maybe if i oh wait i forgot to lower the opacity to 95 percent and blur this that is most likely why it does not look that good or at least on mine okay that was human error my fault but it does look really good after lowering the, lowering the opacity and blurring it. I'm just gonna say, depending on what you like, the lower the opacity more, mine is going to be down to a 33%. Cause I like that. And then I'd say, add it to add lighter color, color dodge, or one of these like, like lighten it type things because like just look at it after now after that now i'm going to do my special like duplicate layer hide the layer thing alpha lock pretty much on all my drawings you will see two main components a shadow and colored line art. So the way I do that is then move this layer there, lower the opacity to something like that. There you go, you have a very easy shadow. Duplicate layer, hide top one, alpha lock. Pick a light color that goes along with the theme of your drawing. So I'm gonna pick like a very like light gray-ish type color like something like this could work very well where I first saw that this hack it said like purple but like I found doing it in like any light color that matches your your drawing really hides like or, uh, it's like your uh, line art better. See, cause look at it now, like using that gray, it hit it better. Well, that's it for today's video. I love you guys. I'm going to title this Pretty Pinterest Boy. And this is what I'll leave you with.